Institute for Religious Freedom uh, to be followed by the Collective Against Islamophobia in Belgium. Thank you. I am Maxim Vasin, Institute for, for Religious Freedom Ukraine. It has been two and a half years that the fundamental rights in the Donbas region of eastern Ukraine have been violated. The Russian-backed separatists have systematically exploited the religious factor, trying to eradicate any kind of dissent. Instead of religious freedom and pluralism, which are inherent in the rest part of Ukraine, in the Donbas, a religion is used as ground for persecution, torture, and even the murder of priests and believers. Now, among the captured is the professor Igor Kozlovsky, a religious studies scholar had for over eight months charged with the support of religious minorities. Until now, numerous temples remain under control of the, of the Russian-backed separatists and often are used as military facilities. For example, a complex of buildings of the Donetsk Christian University, a building of the World of Life Bible Institute on Kachenko Street in Donetsk, several places of worship of the Mormons and Jehovah Witnesses. A year ago, Mr. Zaharchenko, a head of Donetsk separatists, declared that he will actively fight against sects. This, a new wave of religious persecution was experienced by evangelical Christians, Orthodox of the Kiev Patriarchate, Greek Catholics and other religious minorities. Several rallies against Baptists and Greek Catholics were organized in Shakhtarsk city and Donetsk this year. We recommend to participate in states to expand the mandate of the OSC special monitoring mission in Ukraine to include the investigation of the numerous incidents of religious persecution by pro-Russian militants in the Donbas. Also, it is necessary to prepare a special report on the situation with Eastern Ukraine after such monitoring. And the issue of religious freedom should also become a part of a negotiation in the mean and nomadic formats. OSCE should defend the fundamental right for freedom of religion for those who have suffered daily in eastern Ukraine because of the Russian aggression. Thank you for your attention.